Coming into this season, everyone expected the Cleveland Cavaliers to be in the lottery. However, that's why you played a game. Darius Garland has been a big time point guard and turned himself into an all star. Right now, he's, I think he's the best closer in the game. And, um, you know, I play with a lot of talented players, and the way he uh, puts the weight on his shoulders, he pretty much has to make every play for us in the fourth, which he has been doing. The lottery balls wasn't their favorite, and they got a rookie of the year favorite in Evan Mobley. The longer you leave him on the floor, just good things happen. Um, and, you know, you don't have to do a lot for him to get involved in the game. Jared Allen signed a big contract in the offseason and became an all-star. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I do want to be an all-star. I'm playing, I'm playing to win, but I'm playing, I really do feel like I can be one this year. Kevin Love turned back the clock and became a reliable six man. Fortunate to have him, and again, his sacrifice to help this team be better. Uh, you know, you can't put that in an analytic or a stat. Along the way, injuries happened. Sexton went down, Rubio went down, and then came Rondo and Levert. In what way does Karras elevate you guys the most? Um, just his playmaking and scoring ability. Um, I mean, you saw it tonight, I and mean, he was getting to the spots really easy. Uh, making a pull up, and he was making reads for everyone else too. So, and he came in and played some really good defense. So, I mean, he's he was our missing piece. So, glad to have him. Through it all, head coach JB Bickerstaff kept it all together. At 35 and 23, the Cavs are fourth in the conference, and barring a collapse, will make the playoffs. Can they do damage in the postseason? You guys understand that you know this is a really good team, and you know they'll take this type of team for granted. You know, with this type of personnel, the DNA that we have, the character in this locker room, along with the coaching staff, you know, we got a chance to do something special. And, you know, I'm sure when the season started, none of these guys ever thought about this or uh, having a championship mentality or a mindset. But now it's time to you know, flip the switch and understand that uh, we need some respect and we'll have to go get it in the playoffs. But nevertheless, we can compete with anyone. Youth could stand in their way and it could depend on the matchup. But just like everything else this season, they could find a way to make noise come playoff time.